Mark 9.45-46 And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter life lame rather than having to a feet to be cast into hell, into the fire that shall never be quenched, where their worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. Jesus continues saying, If your foot causes you to sin, how can your feet cause you to sin? It would be easier to answer this question if we consider the main function of our feet. Of course, they do many different things, but their main purpose is, is to move us from one point to another. We can extend the analogy to include different kinds of transportation. Every day, your feet, transportation, move you to whatever you places you want to go to. This includes places where you are likely to commit to sin. Today, Jesus prompts us to think about the places we visit and why we go there. I suggest writing down all the places you go to. Do it for one week. It will help you to learn more about yourself than you ever imagined. Even in your house, where do your feet lead you to? To bed, to the sofa and the TV? Or to the computer desk or bookshelf? What about to the refrigerator? We do many things reflexively without really thinking about them. This is completely natural. We can't put careful thought into everything we do. If we did, it would be exhausting at best and could drive us insane at worst. Instead, much of our life flows by like a river. That's why it is so important to build good habits. Your feet have already built patterns in your daily life. You just don't realize it until you start taking note of it. You'll be surprised when you discover after a week of keeping track of your feet. So once you've recorded where your feet take you to, and discovered what your favorite haunts are. What will you do if you find out that your feet have caused you to sin? Instead of trying to remove these bad habits, an alternative is to develop good habits. The Bible suggests the best pattern that we can train our feet to follow. Romans 10.15 says, How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, who bring glad tidings of good things. Feet can't preach, right? But they can take us to places where we can share the good news of Jesus Christ. As your feet become accustomed to moving in these new directions, uh, their sinful patterns will be suppressed. They will not disappear completely, but they can remain inactive as long as you maintain good habits. May our feet deliver good news and save people.